folks? Well, we figure he's Black Bart. Chef's theme, trusty old Red Rider Carbine Action 2 on the shot range model air rifle. Oh, no! It's all oh, oh, yeah. oh. After watching that clip, Black Bart better not come around these parts. I'm no Ralphie, but what I do have is an official Red Rider BB gun set. Hey guys, I have a really fun video for you today. In this video, we're going to be checking out an official Red Rider BB gun set, pretty much identical from the movie A Christmas Story. We also do have a Red Rider shooting gallery and a container full of BBs. I'm going to let you know how I obtained everything, and then we're going to go over all the items up close, show you what you get. I'll cover all the details about it, and especially we're going to have some fun with it too, shooting at the targets. More importantly though, we're gonna make sure that we don't shoot our eye out like Ralphie in the movie A Christmas Story. So if you wanna check all this out and have a bit of fun, just come along with me and let's do it together. So you're probably wondering, how'd you get all this cool stuff? Well, I can tell you, I didn't buy it for myself. This was actually all given to me as a gift. One of my viewers who's been really generous and supportive of my channel knows I love the movie A Christmas Story. I have a lot of memorabilia from it. And now I have an iconic piece, the Red Rider BB gun. Her name is Lisa Anderson and she sent this to me on her own doing. I had no idea it was coming, it just showed up in the mail, and I want to give a special thanks to her because this is pretty awesome. Even as a grown-up like myself, it put a smile on my face, I felt like I was a kid again getting a new BB gun. So she sent all three things, including the BBs themselves. And the cool ping, the cool ping, the cool thing is that this is not just one gun, it's actually a two-pair Red Rider set. There's a standard size and an adult size. And we're gonna go over the comparison between both of them and probably fire both of them they should work pretty much the same i'll read all the stuff on the box here for you and for the target gallery here this is the red rider shooting gallery this is a pretty neat piece because this cardboard flap has cutouts what you do is you remove this and it gets placed into the back here so that way it stands up on its own also comes with zip ties and you could hang this from a tree or a clothesline or something like that I wasn't going to shoot this because this is a really cool piece of movie history here and I was going to have this just as a display piece, which I still could, but I am going to use it for its intended purposes. It comes with 25 targets and we're going to place it on here and this is a great backstop for shooting BBs because it basically absorbs them like a sponge. It doesn't really penetrate through it unless you're really close dis distance, but there won't be any chance of ricochet, won't be shooting my eye out. So knowing that she sent this to go hand in hand with this is pretty neat and I'm looking forward to trying it for the first time. Do have a 6,000 count of Copperhead Crossman BBs. This is gonna last me for a long, long time, but I don't have to go out and buy any ammunition and it actually has a little pour valve on top so you don't get them all over the place. So she basically sent me everything I need to start having some fun. Now, this is not my first BB gun. I've had a lot of BB guns as a kid growing up I've had everything from the lever action like this to the pump action where you pump it to build up the air to even the handgun type that takes the little CO2 cartridges. So I had a bunch of them as a kid. And although they're not real guns, real weapons, they still do shoot, you know, projectiles. I had BBs and pellet guns. It was just neat as a kid going out with your friends and having your own little rifle to shoot, you know, balloons. We used to shoot balloons, tin cans, jugs of water, gallons of water. Um, you know, anything we could find to shoot that would make a really cool little reaction. You know, like a pop of a balloon, the water spewing out after you shoot a hole in it. So I had a lot of great memories growing up with BB guns. I haven't owned one probably at least 20 years, but I never had a Red Rider BB gun set. So I am really excited and I don't want to waste any more time rambling to you guys. So let's go over the box here. We'll dive into it and see what you get. Now, this is called the Heritage Kit. It comes with adult size and standard size. It says share the fun and share the memories. The Red Rider Heritage Kit lets you plink targets just like the old times. You get one standard size Red Rider and one adult size Red Rider for twice the fun. Now you can pass down the memories of years gone by while making new ones. And I do agree with that statement. Since this does come with two guns, I am gonna be giving the standard size to Lily. Now she already knows how to shoot my rifle and my nine millimeter handgun, but she's never owned her very own gun. And now she'll be able to come out in the backyard and do some target practicing with an official Red Rider gun. So Lily's gonna be reaping the rewards of having two guns. 
Uh, let's see, over here it says 650 shot, included inside is one standard size, one adult size. Maximum velocity is 300 feet per second. Shoots .177 caliber BBs. Lever cocking, which is um, spring action. And it says the family sporting tradition since 1940. We'll flip it over here. On the gun, it's kind of labeled out here, Red Rider branded Woodstock, which is going to be really cool to see. A cocking lever, a leather thong, which is almost like the tassels that comes off of it. Cross bolt trigger with the block safety, adjustable rear sight, wood forearm with forearm band, blade and ramp sight, and a smooth bore steel. The adult size is 37.75 inches in length. Standard size is 35.4 inches. So just about a little bit more than two different, uh, two inches in size difference. Uh, has all the same specifications I just read off to you guys and tells you uh, what you get inside of it. So let's open this up because I'm pretty excited. I'm going to save this box too because again, the Red Rider logo and theming is just iconic. I'm gonna open it for you guys first. You ready? Ready? Take a peek. <laughs> All right, there they are. Whew, this is pretty cool. So this looks like the standard size. This is the adult size. And we do have some uh, Daisy documentation, probably just operator's manual, giving you details cocking instructions you know make sure you bring the lever back down to fire so i'm going to open just one of them now the adult size one just to show you a size comparison you can see the uh this one here is the standard the one closest to me is the adult it sticks out you know about two inches or so we're going to have focus on just the adult one right now so I do have a band on here I do need to cut so I'll be right back in one second so here it is in all of its glory we've got the beautiful branded wood stock here that's Red Rider himself on there the leather thong which are like leather tassels the lever action got the wood forearm adjustable sights everything that we explain I mean I'm just basically going over briefly with you, but this is <clears throat> a great looking piece. And uh, it's been years since I've done this. I can't wait to fire this. <laughs> and the way I'm gonna do it too, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with some different vantage points and perspectives. I'm gonna have my action camera, which I'm using right now on the tripod. I'm gonna have you watching me from like a side profile shot shooting it. I'm gonna show the target up close shooting, you know, see how accurate I am with the target with the BBs and more importantly I'm going to put you guys on my head as a head mount so you'll be able to see what I see shooting the gun so that should make for some pretty cool footage the only thing we really got to do now is just load it up with BBs assemble this and start shooting so I'm ready if you are so it actually has a little flip uh opening here you got to push in and up to open it it's almost like a uh, little locking methods so that way it doesn't open accidentally and you're going to hear the bb's going down and <laughs> i lost a couple of them just like the old man says watch they roll all over. Oh, they run all over. And I just lost about six of them. So I got, I would guesstimate, probably around 50 BBs in here. So it puts safety on, so it does have the push button safety. Feed BBs. We did that. Aim. Take safety off and fire. So obviously, if you're using this, whether you're young or old, you want to do practice good safety measures. You don't want to shoot at anything with a hard backdrop like a stone piece of metal because it could ricochet. You don't want to shoot towards houses. You don't want to shoot at animals. 
this is just for you know your own personal enjoyment of shooting targets like this cardboard cardboard is a great target you get a big sheet of cardboard spray paint a target on there or buy targets from walmart and you're ready to go but um they're not going to hang this i don't think but i'm going to assemble it and we're going to place it on the ground and i'm probably going to stand maybe 40 50 feet away and we'll see how accurate it is so you uh pull that off and then we're going to stick it into the back inside is the targets So here it is fully assembled. All you do is uh, fold it and put it into the creases. That way it will stand on its own. It's just like a little back stand. That way when you shoot it, it shouldn't tip over on you. Inside though, you do get the Red Rider targets. And it's a booklet of them, all different ones too, like bullseye, shoot some pigs, um, like balloons or um, tic-tac-toe actually. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Balloon tic-tac-toe. Ducks. So this is a great little addition. I mean, you have the traditional target just like that, but they have a multitude of different types of targets. You could have friends join you for a game of tic-tac-toe or, um, you know, making some bacon for yourself, shooting the pig. And we do have... I'm not sure what that's for. Now, there is supposed to be zip ties, but I... Oh, yeah, there is zip ties. They did fall out. So it does come with zip ties included if you want to hang this from something but like i said for demonstration purposes we're just going to stand it up i have to make sure i have that secured in there if need be you could probably tape it so it doesn't fall out but so there we go there is our target that way when it shoots it's going to get absorbed into the box and probably will collect the bb's inside of it so you can see i placed the target here with the added form of the cardboard, when it shoots, it shouldn't tip over. It's pretty stable for the most part. All right, you guys ready to have some fun? Before we do anything else, gotta put on our safety glasses. I do have Ralphie style black frame glasses, minus the hair. I'm pretty close to Ralphie right now. <laughs> So you guys see where the target is, where I placed it. I'm gonna keep you guys right here. I'm gonna shoot off a couple shots. Hopefully I do hit the target. It's been a while since I shot a BB gun. And once I do know that I have the accuracy pinpointing pretty good, I'll put you guys near the target. You'll be able to see some close-up shots. And then I'll mount you guys on my head and you can pretend you're shooting for yourself. So I'm gonna use the edge of the driveway here. Safety's on as my uh, standing point. So it's lever action, we gotta lever it all the way down and take aim, take safety off and take a shot. I definitely hit the cardboard and take another shot and then we'll go check it out. I think I may need to aim a little bit higher. I think it, with the velocity it kind of went down a little bit, so I'm going to try a little bit higher here. Okay, so I definitely hit the cardboard twice. I don't know where. So I'm going to go over, and uh, I'll take you guys with me. We'll see how good I did. So looking at it, I actually don't see where I hit at. I know I hit it. I heard it hit the cardboard. But I definitely didn't hit the target itself. So I'm going to try aiming a little bit differently. If need be, I will get a bit closer. Again, this has been over 20 years since I've aimed a BB gun. But I'm going to keep you guys here by the target. And you can let me know how well I'm doing. You guys may or may not be able to hear me. So I'm going to take a couple more shots. And if I don't see that I hit the target, I can move it a little bit closer. I may have to adjust the sights. That's probably what the problem is. I'm definitely hitting it. I'm aiming all different places, high, low, left, right. I'm 
I'll try one more, then I'm gonna move a bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna check it out first, see if I hit the target at all. Oh yeah, I definitely hit it a couple times. I hit right there, low center, low right, upper right, and that's probably the one that's aiming towards the top. I hit the box here a couple times, hit the box there. So yeah, from the same distance, I was able to kind of narrow it in a little bit. I'm gonna get a bit closer now and aim for the bullseye. We'll see how close I could get to it. Okay, so I came up about 10 feet closer. Let's try this. I'm gonna fire one more shot and check it. So I hit upper left. Oh, I actually did get into the red right there. There's a bullseye right where the red meets the white. Okay, not too bad. Let me fire three more and then we're gonna switch out to a new target and we'll see if we can narrow down the accuracy even more. But definitely each shot, it seems to be improving. Okay, so that was another three shots. I had one misfire. Oh yeah, we're getting much closer. So I got another one just above the number five right there in the red almost a direct bullseye. I got inside the number four. I got a, another one here inside number three. Yep, we're getting much better with it. Right now I'm going to swap out targets. I'm gonna mount you guys on my head and you can take a few shots for yourself. All right guys, we're ready to rock and roll. Make sure you have your safety glasses on. Got the target. We're loaded. We're gonna throw the safety on. Take your time, it's okay if you miss, but let's see how good you can shoot. I'll let you shoot one more. Misfire. All right, let's see how good you did. Okay, so we do have three on the target. We're shooting to the right. We got one in number two there, and two on the outside. Let's give you three more shots. We're gonna to try to focus more on the left side, maybe closer to the center. Misfire. That's common with these guns. Another misfire. One more. Okay. I think we did better this time. Well, we're still shooting right. We can fix that. Just going to be on our trigger finger position. When we're pulling the trigger, maybe pulling the gun to the right. But we do have a couple in number two. We did hit between three and four, so we got just outside the bullseye zone. So good job, guys. But now I have a special little treat for you. I'll show you what it is in just a second. So here we go, here is my target. We did get two bullseyes, which I'm pretty proud of. And here's your target. Oh, I stand corrected. You guys got a bullseye right there, just outside number five. So whoever shot that one, great shot. That's almost spot on. But we got one, two, three, four, in the target zone, two on the outside. So overall, for your first time shooting, you did much better than I did. Mine are all over the place, but I did at least get two in the bullseye zone, so I'm proud of that. So as an added bonus, we're gonna shoot these. We'll see if it can penetrate the water bottle. I know it's definitely gonna penetrate the can, and I'm probably gonna put the camera in slow motion, and we'll see what happens when we shoot at them with the Red Rider BB gun. I gave it a nice shake. Hopefully it doesn't get on the camera. 
just so I don't have to waste uh, any more time. I'm going to stand about 10 feet away. I'm going to go for the water bottle first. I actually missed it. I got to adjust my finger here. There we go. Knocked it over. I don't think I penetrated it. Shot high in that one. So I definitely hit it. Oh yeah, we got some squirtage. <laughs> you know what? Let's do the can. That's what I'm waiting for. Close your eyes if you don't want to get any soda in your eyes. One, two, three. Ah, oh, it's a little geyser. Get some more holes in it here. One more. And the BBs are in there. I got it, uh, looks like four or five times. Take that, Black Bart. I told you, you'll get yours. Oh, didn't realize I was filming. <laughs> How'd I do? Took care of Black Bart and all his bully friends. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had a great time making this for you. Again, thank you to Lisa for sending this out to me because without her generosity, we wouldn't be having these items to have some fun with as a big kid. I'm pretty sure you're going to see a video on Lily's channel, which I will link to her channel down below in the description, where she will demonstrate her uh, shooting capabilities with her very own Red Rider BB gun. But I am very pleased with this. This is something I'm going to have fun with from time to time, especially in the backyard. I can't fire my other guns here. I do have to drive somewhere to do it more remotely. But here in the backyard, it's woods behind me, and BBs are not going to do that all that much damage. The box, so like I said, I'm going to use probably a couple more times and at least have her demonstrate it. You know, have her have a, a shoot at it. Maybe we'll do some tic-tac-toe or something. And although I'm not going to use the box much more, I still will use the targets. The targets are pretty neat. Nice little variety of them. And all I have to do is just get a big piece of cardboard and sp spray paint a target or tape those on there and ready to go. If you guys have any questions on anything you've seen about the unboxing, about the items, maybe you're looking to get one for yourself. I don't have the links as of now as to where she got everything but if i can't get them from her i will put links down below of comparable items i did find on either amazon or some other website where you could pick one up for yourself but i do know walmart does sell a red rider single version of the gun itself not the dual the two pack so if you want to check walmart you can maybe get something very similar but this one is a beautiful gun and i think once i adjust the targets a little bit get more comfortable shooting with it i'm gonna get even better at it i used to be pretty spot on as a kid i was able to shoot things farther and farther away i was able to adjust for the you know the drop in altitude stuff like that wind conditions i wasn't a sharpshooter but after shooting one for a few years you become fairly good at it so uh if you guys want to see more videos of me shooting this whether it's in the backyard or we'll go somewhere maybe take a little hike in the woods and set up some targets let me know in the comment section down below lastly I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to watch this video, for taking good care of the gun when you shot it. You did really well. So maybe you have a feature in marksmanship. And lastly, just for um, hanging out and having fun with me. I know this is kind of a silly moment here or there, but that's what I'm all about. Having a good time, putting smiles on your faces, and making people forget about everyday life for just a few moments. So anyways, take care of one another. Happy holidays. Stay safe. And until next time, I'll see all of you and you, you in the background in the next video.
Sorry. 